Hello everybody, this is Sarath from Webbody. Today we are going to address an important issue that everybody is facing right now in lockdown. So we are streaming heavily on Netflix and Amazon. We are off to attend the uh, Zoom calls and our uh, children are taking in uh, classes online. So we need good data speeds to do all the tasks. So today I am going to unbox a different product. It is an outdoor industrial data router. It is costly but it's worth for the price. I am recommending to my clients and I am also using it in my hometown. So today we will do the unboxing of the product and I will explain the specifications and then I will try to install it and I will show the procedures. So let's get started. So let's unbox it. So it comes with a standard box and this is the data router. You can see it's a Prosen M360P model and we have a support team in India in Delhi so they can help you to install it remotely so we will see it clearly so we have to unscrew the two screws to put our sim card inside and we have a LAN port inside so what are the other things we are getting inside so we are getting an PoE switch so I'll explain this. So this is a PoE port and another one is a LAN port. The PoE port will go into the router. We have to keep this router in outdoor. So wherever you feel you are getting a good signal strength, we have to keep this. We have to mount it. So we have a mounting clamp. I think, yeah, we have mounting clamps. Two mounting clamps will go back. Okay. And we have a standard LAN cable. So how does it work? So we have to plug the PoE to the uh, router and from the LAN cable we have to connect it with an Wi-Fi router. So once we connect the Wi-Fi router we will access the internet from the outdoor router. So nothing else. Here yeah, this one is in uh, I think this one will go there. Yes. But you can use this. It will uh, help you to it's a waterproof thing yeah choose a location where you get more data speed in your terrace and direct the antenna towards the tower guys before setting it up and i just want to show how the setup will work it is easy to show it here so this is the outdoor router okay so here the sim card goes and here the lan cable the lan cable go into the poe adapter you can see it other port will go into our router it's very easy it's very easy simple setup guys this is a small router which i'm using it's a d-link you can buy any router you want if you're having a huge house just buy an, uh, a big router to cover your area okay and this will go into your plug socket nothing else it's very easy setup but definitely this small wire will not going to help you which comes with the box um, you may use it for the uh, router but uh, we have to buy an extra LAN cable if you are, if you are having a two floor and uh, we definitely we have to buy an extra LAN cable at least minimum uh, 20 meters of LAN cable and the router will support up to 100 meters but I don't suggest you to go with 100 meters so use up to 60 meters so that you don't uh, lose that much of data. Now we will configure the router so if you see unidentified network go to the ethernet option change adapter settings click on ethernet properties click on ip4 and use your ip address it's same for everyone just enter the ip address and click ok now go to the ip address now you are able to see the pros and page make sure your ip ip4 and ip mask has been generated if not go to lte lte configure enter the password it's admin and admin Check if it is in auto and don't change your password. We will tend to forget it. And change to 4G only. And go to dual APN and make sure we are in router only mode. Check the IP address. If it is generated, if it is not generated, enter the manual DNS and click OK. Now test the internet speed. 
if internet is not working then remove the ip address we have entered in the ethernet that's it to increase the data speed we have to increase the pole height and the direct towards the tower and this router is weather proof and lightning proof so don't worry about placing it high and test on all networks to know which has more data speed before inserting the sim in the router prosend is used by many companies like atel banks even in ships used by army so we can do more things but one feature that will be helpful for us is locking the band band 40 is particularly prioritized by all the networks so we might get more traffic on the same network just try different bands to get more data speeds try band 3 which is 1800 megahertz and try band 5 which is 850 megahertz and fix the band which you get more data speed i am in a city right now so i get more data speeds so testing here is uh, not an option so i am testing this router in inside my house so to show you how the data speed works some of us need more data speed than this so check if you are getting 30 mbps speed in terrace then you will get around 60 to 70 mbps in the router but most of the people won't even get 1 mbps in remote areas and it will not be stable that where this router shows its strength you will see a tremendous change in data speed and stability so guys hope you like my video so hit the subscribe button and the like button so that i get motivated if you don't like no issues hit the uh, dislike button so if you want to buy this product i have given the link in the description you can go directly and buy the product it's a genuine link or because it's coming directly from my company and i am doing so many industrial solutions if you want to check out more videos like that do subscribe it thank you we'll see you on another video